Yo, what's up guys? Today I will show you how to do your compositing in a manga edit uh, like I do. And yeah, uh, it was a highly requested like video idea, tutorial idea, so I thought I'ma do it. So I have my background right here. I got it off the web, like just simply search anything you want. Uh, for example, I typed uh, field background or something, uh, field view, I don't know. And I have this uh, PNG of Ichigo. So I'm just gonna do like a scale it up and press position, bring him down. Yeah, just like that. I want him to do to be like this, right? And for example, how long is this? I want this to go like somewhere here. So now we're gonna enable 3D and motion blur. And now we're gonna add camera. Uh, settings don't really matter uh, to me. They matter, but like not on this level okay and i'm just gonna press position and bring the z position back there and i'm gonna press scale and then scale it up yeah now we have that the background is further away than the character and uh, wait i can maybe show you yeah like you see the background is like further away from the character so it will look better in the end so okay now let's start so we will add one null object and we will put it at the top as I like it. And then we're going to enable 3D and pair the camera with the null. And yeah, that's it for now. And I'm going to press position. And now we're going to separate dimensions and keyframe the movement. So I will put these back. No, actually, I will zoom in to his face a little bit. So like it's something like this, you know. Yeah, something like that. I will zoom it like this. And I'm just gonna put it at the very end and I'm just gonna do it now from this side. So like, it will come, the camera will come to him. So like, like this, you know, but I'm just gonna do it like a little lower and a bit deeper. So it will zoom and kind of move. I'm gonna easy ease using F9. And I'm just gonna do it like this simple graph, I think. Okay, this is way too long. What are we going to do? I don't know. I will just shorten it a lot because it's too long. But yeah, now we have this long. So I'm going to do it like a bit faster. So like this. Yeah, now we have this. It doesn't look too bad. But now we're going to bring it to the next level. So now we're going to add another null object. We're going to enable 3D and pair this one with this one like that now we're gonna press position again separate dimensions right here and we're just gonna go to the end and I'm gonna zoom out with Z position as max as I can so like this I think yeah pretty sure that's it so we're gonna do it like this now I'm just do it like this you position how you want your final frame to be then you put this to the very end you easy ease them we will graph it but with the speed graph so it's a lot more smoother, you know. And we're gonna do it a little bit to the end, you know. Also, be sure to select this. Because if you don't, then you're only moving, for example, the green the graph. So yeah, be sure to select all of it and then move it. So I'm just gonna do it like this maybe. And then maybe this one, I will make it like that. So, okay, now let's see how this looks. Okay, this doesn't look too bad, but I think this is way... This could be smoother. It doesn't look too bad. Could we maybe do it like this? Yeah, it's like a lot nice little zoom out. Yeah, so for example, we have this. Right, but wait, I, I think I made a mistake. I don't know. I'm just gonna look. Um, you don't have to do like I do. But I think I will pre-compose him and then enable 3D and maybe no one will... Yeah, nothing changed. But I don't know, this sometimes works, sometimes not. So I'm just gonna do a manga hack thing that I, I showed in my tutorial. In like, I don't know which one of my videos, but like, yeah. I'm gonna do just like a little movement, you know? So it's not like really basic, you know? So like this. It's like basic manga movement, so it's not like, you know, boring and stuff. So it will look like he's, like, you know, 
bringing his up head up yeah like look you see this it looks pretty good it looks like he's standing up i can also do like he's kind of coming from below you know a little bit so we're just gonna put this to the end and i'm just gonna do it like this and now this this will be like he's coming from below you know doesn't look too bad for you also you can put like a moving field background like uh, a video you know it will look so much smoother so now what we will do is we're gonna color the character because the background doesn't fit uh, i mean the shading on the character doesn't fit so i'm just gonna type in four color gradient we're gonna apply this and i'm just gonna pick this and i'm just gonna pick random places uh preferably color three and four should be a bit darker because it's like the base of the body and i'm just gonna pick some brighter colors around the head and now we're gonna select the soft light right here on the blending mode and now look it looks like he's there you know so we can also uh, mess with the opacity like i always mess with it but not this time because it looks really good and i'm just gonna drop a shading preset that i got somewhere from neon spec and i don't have a plugin called yy ram plus i don't know where to get it but we're gonna delete it i will drop the <clears throat> the preset in the description i'm gonna type 180 and now we're gonna opacity maybe like 50 percent and i'm gonna bring down the softness bring this down and then bring it up so yeah it's like this so look it it looks really natural you know so i can drop all of this in the in the comments i will drop this preset of mine uh so yeah be sure to check that out and now the final shading part like um how to make that it's like legit there so i think i'm gonna add oh yeah you have to duplicate this layer i will try it i don't know how this will look then you delete all of the effects and then you add light sweep we're gonna set this to zero we're gonna do this uh, leave it a sharp then we're gonna with we're gonna bring it up to 1000 sweep intensity zero um edge intensity i think it's 100 or something like that and thickness it will be a 10 and then we're gonna add deep glow okay this is not how this should be oh yeah we should also um choose cut out right here instead of add choose cut out like the very last effect and we're gonna check this so now we have this shading that a lot of people ask me how i do it this is how i do it you know this is the shading look i think it looks much better but we're gonna take the white and we're gonna make it like a little bit more uh, yellow i think i don't know let's do it like this color no maybe this this but like maybe we will do it like so you know so now look how it looks this looks in my opinion really good and now we're gonna do the final step that i really really like sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it works for me it works <clears throat> so we're gonna just pre-compose everything right here we're gonna add adjustment layer and we're gonna uh, add effect called looks and then we're gonna press edit <clears throat> now we wait for it to load okay now the fun part uh, you're gonna you see all these folders right here with different color things so i recommend you getting some that you like so like you just browse through all of these and you just like look and see which one looks best i really like this one i don't know yo what i haven't had these all of these looks really good this looks like it's like summer day this looks like it's about to rain yeah it looks hella cool this one this one looks really cool okay i will go with the with the dark one okay or maybe this one i don't know they all look good you just browse through them you know i'm gonna do this one okay so yeah now that you chose your thing um if it's not on the effect list i recommend you add in 
edge softness it really looks like the camera wipe also i recommend you like widening it because like uh, most of the time there's a character in the middle so you don't want to blur them out because like look this doesn't look good you know we have to make it like this i don't really change the settings uh yeah i also add haze and flare if it's not there and uh do a soft spill maybe a bit of softness i bring it down so like this maybe bring up the spillage sometimes only sometimes you have to make it look good you know and you have to color it also so like i'm gonna do like a like a, like a, like a, like a, like this maybe yeah yeah like this you know look how look how good that looks it's like a whole cc you know we're not gonna use yeah oh it's already no we're not gonna use this now once you're done with your effects and stuff you're gonna close this so we're gonna click this and now look how good this looks i'm sorry it's on quarter my pc might crash but like look this is so good this is peak editing right here guys this looks super goaded yeah this is my manga compositing tutorial i do this uh, a lot this looks really good in my opinion so yeah uh so yeah thank you all so much for watching uh please comment down below what you like to see next and yeah i will see you guys in the next tutorial i think okay guys peace out thank you all so much for watching